Hi everybody, we are up to box number seven and this is a heavy one. It's about 32 pounds and it looks like it's a, a lot of um, at least more contemporary things but you know it's hard to say until we get into it. These are some nice Barbies done by Pat Gondre, 1989 looks like the year. These are beautifully done. Their work is so impressive. Um, Prom Night, Golden Book, I'll punch out. Ginghams, I had this one as a kid, but of course mine's all cut out. Or punched out, really, punch out book. Fashion Show, whoa. Oh my gosh, look at all these rooms. This is fantastic. I think the inside of this book is uh, a lot more exciting than it appears on the outside. Mm, I like that one a lot. Oh, look, see, you don't know what you're gonna find here. Here's just some newspaper, paper dolls thrown in here, Winnie Winkle, another gingham. I'm gonna move these out of the way. They're a little more fragile. Gingham at home and at school. Ah, uh, this is terrific. Hmm, I love this. It's a good one. Oh, here's some more. Pet Gondre, also known as Pet Aubrey. Uh, this is a terrible condition book of poems. Looks like it got wet. I'm going to put that aside. Another one that's really bent. Put that aside too. It's a random Dover book and a nice uh, comic compilation here put together by Trina Robbins. This must be like a little magazine. Page. When I grow up, lacing kit from Current. I don't know what the date is on here. 1980. And it looks like you, you must put your clothes on with lace yarn instead of tabs. Hmm, I'm going to also put that aside since it's kind of bulky. Okay, here we have uh, Southern California. This is a paper doll party from 2002, Souvenir by Tom. Viva Italia is the theme, and it looks like we have several pieces here from that event. These were small events. You know, they, they lasted maybe a day and a half or so, and uh, Jean Maiden and Deanna Williams went all out. Uh, they were classy conventions, obviously beautiful souvenirs. This one is by Sandy Vanderpool. I'm not getting these open here. Um, yeah, so you'd walk away with quite a, quite a load of, of uh, souvenirs for a short convention. Michelle Thorpe did that. Here's one. Bruce Patrick Jones. This looks like it's all from the same This is just beautiful. So there's a lot of pieces to this. I don't know if this is com complete. It seems like it should be with so many. I'm going to set this one aside. That looks marvelous. Okay, here's another convention souvenir from 2017 Philadelphia. This was kind of the grand finale souvenir that year with uh, a compilation of several artists, various topics of fantastic uh, TV shows. And Rudy Miller did the cover design, which is cute. I'm gonna set that one aside too. This looks like another 
Convention Souvenir by Sandy Vanderpool. I don't know when this was from. I'm just guessing it was a souvenir. No date. And Jeffries by Donald Hendricks. I'm going to say she attended one of the events in California. Yes, those were the days. Uh, it was a paper doll convention, actually, in L.A. in 2005. And he did a lovely paper doll souvenir of hers. I think I'm also going to set that aside. Maybe these will be good items for... I don't know, some maybe for eBay, some maybe I'll stick on my website. And, well, this is beautiful. Another Donald Hendricks. I don't remember seeing much of his paper dolls of stars, but what a nice Rita Hayworth and a pretty portrait. He has a little star bio with that. I think I'm also gonna set that one aside. I'm going to get these other things out of the way here. Okay, Lord of the Rings. This is by Liz Kovacs from 2004. I'm not familiar with this. I don't remember that she was involved in our Optag magazine, Her Work is Nice. And here's another item from Sandy Vanderpool. Um, Romeo and Juliet. Hmm, let me put that aside as well. Well, look, here's one of Marilyn's, Great Gatsby. She signed it. Beautiful clothes. Here's one of Brenda's. This is a souvenir from 2005 convention. And Sandy Vanderpool from Venice. Hmm. 2002. Could that have been part of the that same? No, wait a second. A Renaissance Romance. Mm. This was another convention, so we've got to figure out which ones go together. Okay, this is a convention souvenir, I'm pretty sure, but this also says Renaissance. Hmm, all from the same thing, maybe? I'm not sure what is up with this. It's different eras. Let's see if there's a date. Put this up to 2000. I don't know. The date here says 98. We'll have to see what what convention that might match up to. Here's another. Looks like random convention souvenir. Bruce's 2001. Was this in Detroit? Hmm. No, 2006 convention in Indianapolis. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay, a souvenir from 1993. Elegance and opulence was the theme. Let's see what we have in here. This is by John Axe. Um, Queen Alexandra's children. It looks like it got a little warped. Not too bad though. Kiss Me Kate. I think this was another souvenir. This is by Marilyn, but I am not seeing a convention date on that. Just a convention program from 99. Oh, look, a really old Paper Doll Gazette. Uh, Shirley Hedge put Paper Doll Gazette together. Paper Doll Gazette together, um, hmm, I'm not sure when she started, 70s maybe, 
Um, this was from 1980. And then in the early 90s, Shirley got together with Marilyn and they started doing Paper Doll Review. And then I got involved with Paper Doll Review in maybe 97 or so. I might set this one aside, I think. Okay, so here's a souvenir from Denver. And this is by Tom. So, there's no rhyme nor reason to this box of stuff here. John Axe. Oh, this is beautiful. This looks like Sandy Vanderpool around the world. Oh, gosh. Her clothes are just gorgeous. That's very nice. Okay, this is Modern Dolls Aplenty. Um, it looks quite brittle, so I'm not going to open this up. I'm going to set that aside. Okay, now we're into some Dover books. One of Tom's. These are so heavy, and that's probably a good reason why this box was 32 pounds. A lot of, it looks like there's more Dover in there from what I can see. I don't know if you want to have a peek inside any of these. These are these have been around for a while and typically not that hard to find, even though I think these are all out of print. Oh, these are well done. I like the reproduction on these Letty Lanes. I've not seen this one. Peter Rabbit and the toy theater. Hmm. Oh. Hey, this is quite delightful. I haven't seen that. I like that. I'm going to grab some more of these. It looks like we are left with a lot of Dover in this box. So let's move along here so we don't take too much more time. Just going to breeze through here. My gosh, Marilyn, you have a lot of Dover books. Here's some older ones of Tom's, which are gorgeous. He worked in, you know, finer detail, I think, in those earlier years. I'm going to move through these Dover books a bit. Just two more things in the box. This is this is Tom's very first book that he ever did. 30 from the 30s. If I remember correctly, he did this for his, his mom, all black and white stars. This is a big book. That's terrific. And then there's one more thing left in the box. Reference book of Shirley Temple by Lorraine Burdick. Nice. It's 
So I will be putting some of these things on my website, maybe a few things on eBay. Um, I had to take a little break to get my latest issue of ma the magazine done, of Paper Doll Review. The first issue I had to do without Marilyn, but it has just gone to press, so I'm getting back into uh, Marilyn's things. So thanks for having a look at box number seven.